there, it's Pete C for Sample Live Review and today I'm checking out Cello Textures by Emergence Audio. The ever-evolving Emergence Audio recently wowed us with the ambient gold violin textures. The follow-up Cello Textures has now seen the light of day and is every bit as lush, beautiful and cinematic as its predecessor. With pure ambience, beauty and life, Cello Textures is the perfect library for composing breathtaking underscore, scenes of beauty and captivating emotion. Cello Textures downloads at 3.3 gigabytes and is recorded at 24-bit 48k resolution. It features Emergence Audio's own infinite engine with static sampling. It contains 120 presets and 100 parameters to create your own sound and 10 effects and a randomizer with more than 50 reverb impulse responses. Cello Textures requires the free contact player 6.6 or later and is NKS compatible. Cello Textures normally sells for $99, but it's currently on intro sale at $59. I've loaded up Cello Textures in the complete control player and right off the bat, I love the fact it is NKS compatible. Also, I love how it sounds out of the box because it sounds incredible. Now, the mod wheel, as you can see in the middle, is uh, sort of going between the two different layers. So I'll be doing that as I go. And one thing that is really, I wouldn't say surprising, um, just sort of wonderful from a compositional point of view, it's very responsive to velocity. So let's have a quick listen. As you can hear, the sound is still going, and that is an example of an infinite pad. And it's not just got a, a really long release, it's just the way it's sampled. And you can hear and visualize the, uh, the layers, so you can see the sample and the source content, and it is uh, sort of very uh, extensive, as it were. So out of the box, it sounds great. And as you can see, it's a two layer instrument. So we have the normal muted sample and the sol tasto. And if you click on them, you can open whichever sample you want to use. So we'll do a bit more of that later. Let's just hear a few presets. So we have the infinite pads. Let's play another infinite pad. So this is a peaceful moment.
Just sounds stunning. And I really like the, the registry. So as I'm using the mod wheel, I'm sort of playing a lower bass note. So the sampling is absolutely pristine and you really get the feel for the cello. It just sounds, um, like I say, just sort of very present and very lifelike because it is obviously a, a real cello. And you can see, depending on the register where I'm playing, if I play lower, the sort of samples will change. So it's the same category, it's still the Flavtando and the Soltasto, but... So they change. Um, yeah, lovely. And... Talking about a couple of controls, you do have the ADSR for each layer and you can uh, link those together uh, or have them independent, which is absolutely fine. And then you have the volume uh, for each of the patches. Well, not the patches, sorry, the samples, the layers. Um, and then obviously in the mod, uh, the middle have the mod wheel control. So uh, it will cross fade the samples and you can turn these on and off. Now I'm not gonna talk about anything else underneath for the time being, uh, we're gonna to listen to a few more. So there are different categories. So we have infinite pads, we've heard some of those. Let's hear a couple of pulses. So very clever use of uh, some sort of stereo panning. And let's go for a canyon within a canyon. Some incredible ambience going there, and it is just instant underscore. And uh, when my colleague Rayborn Johnson reviewed the violin textures, that's exactly what he said. And these cello textures are uh, the same, really. It just is hold down a key, and you've got an underscore. So here's uh, Clock's pulses. Let's start with the lower. And let's go for, um, if I just scroll through, there are 120 presets, by the way. Uh, let's just go for another pulse. So reactor pulses. And I'm loading this from an SSD. Um, so the loading times are really, really quick. Always good to know.
sounds very, very awesome. And then we have these correlated patches. That's the Flautande. Uh, it sounds lovely. Flautando is one of my favourite uh, articulations. Let's go for another correlated patch. Let's go for uh, normal but muted correlated. So you can see the correlated, you have both um, sets of samples left and right. Stunning. Stunning, not sunning. It is sunny today, though. Uh, then let's go um, one more correlated patch. Ricochet reverse. There's a lot of fun to be had with these. And then we have dimensions. So let's open up um, cell point two. Oh, that actually has gone a little bit smaller. Um, let's just open Ricochet. Okay, so there's a little bit of my DAW behind. Um, okay, so we go normal dimensions. So the dimensions are a single um, layer. So let's do one more. So the flautando. Yep, sounds. Uh, it's just a beautiful instrument. Now. I've gone back to the uh, an infinite pad. So this is in the past. Um... And then we can talk about the instrument and what you can do with it. So there's 120 presets. And if you kind of split the instrument down the middle, um, you've got your two layers. So um, you can adjust your filters and you can link these together, by the way, which I've just done. Um, high pass filter, low pass filter. You can change cutoff. Um, so the res, the pan. 
And then you've got your LFO controls, so change the waveform, uh, sign, um, source, square, etc. Um, yeah, so you could do this on each side and then have creative use of panning if you'd like to. So really, really sort of simple controls, um, which is nice and easy. And I was playing around with uh, the nice drag up and down. Um, really love the design of the instrument. Oops, I'll just change the uh, EQ there while the hurts. And um, yeah, uh, if you click on, so if you want to change the rate, it's on 0.39 hertz, you can adjust that, drag it left and right, and have just all this control going on. Drag up and down. You can just start tweaking the sound as how you like it. Um, so if I just change the shape, so I'm going to triangle. So you can hear how the sort of uh, the pad is reacting to that. Um, so from a sound design point of view, it's really, really cool. And I love instruments where you have, you know, 120 jumping off points is fantastic. But when you can just tweak and adjust to your heart's content, that's brilliant. And the other thing I absolutely love is when you hit a random button, um, you could just get something new every time. So again, just instant underscore sounds absolutely uh, awesome. And let's just hit another random and see what we get. So a lot of the time, it's all about finding the sweet spot uh, in between these. Now, if you click on the effects, uh, you've got all of these different effects parameters. Now, there are over 50 IR uh, impulse response reverbs. Um, and you can adjust these as convolution reverb. Uh, so I could just go massive amounts of reverb just for a bit of fun. And then different effects. So we've got a phaser. Um, let's bring that in. So suddenly we've gone very cool, like 70s sci-fi. Let's go bring the reverb down a bit. Okay, and then you can have uh, distortion. Rotator. Then, um, can I add some noise? On the lo-fi, how if I engage it? Add some color. And then we actually have tape saturation already turned on for this. Uh, let's add some chorus.
and saturation. And then finally we have some delay. There is a width control already as well. So for me, that sounds brilliant and didn't take long to dial in, just a bit of fun. And all these options, I'm so impressed all of these uh, impulse responses are here. Um, all high quality stuff and just lots of effects to shape. Now, if you eagle-eyed and if I just whack a couple of these on um, for the rotator, on, it's going to sound very interesting. The CPU usage sort of hovers with quite a few effects around 5%, which is pretty decent for what's going on. So resource management, which is very important. Um, yeah, it performs really, really well. Now let's just go for um, another pad. I just love the sound of every single preset that I've played. So, yeah, um, so much to do and so versatile. It depends what type of music you write. Now, I do a lot of crime, so having these pulses, for example. That's incredibly useful. And then... Um, these correlator patches are very, very cool. So if you're also like a horror writer um, or dramatic underscore this would suit really, really well. And blending it with orchestras, um, small orchestras, or if you do Scandi Noir, that kind of thing, again, it would work great. But getting this kind of performance... You don't really hear it that often. And because it's not, you know, on a grid, um, the samples are playing back at different speeds. It just has like this really, really cool you know, like human randomization going on. Just sounds ace. It's an instrument that I'll be reaching for a lot. Uh, this really, really speaks to me, this one. It's very, very inspiring. And when you start layering it with other instruments, even just a simple piano, you're going to come out with such amazing compositions. 
to end the review, I'm just going to turn the mic off and just play through some of these amazing presets um, just because they are so cool and they need to be listened to. Also, if you pop over to the Emergence Audio website, you'll hear some really, really cool demos. So do check those out. So here we go.
my final thoughts about cello textures is it is just a fantastic texture based instrument um it has the richness of the cellos it's instant underscore it's got 120 presets to start off with and then you can just tweak fine tune your own and also just randomize so really it's a very very expansive instrument but the quality of sampling is brilliant and the thought that's gone into the instrument is just sort of really really clever there's loads of tweakable features some brilliant onboard effects and impulse responses but it still isn't really cpu intensive um, so it, it's just a all-round great compliment for your composing palette what would i use this in i've already said for crime for horror it would work great um, i do a lot of so, let's say scandi noir and underscore and this will just fit in perfectly and it really is it almost it's like it's evolving constantly and it breathes life into scores sits in the mix absolutely beautifully i have actually just tried it very very briefly against a small sort of studio orchestra and the results were absolutely mind-blowing it's a great instrument i think emergence audio are just onto a winner with uh this textures series all that leads me to say is thank you so much for checking out this review of Cello Textures by Emergence Audio. If you like what you heard, feel free to leave us a like and let us know what you liked about the instrument and how you would use it in your own compositions. If you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos on YouTube and then head over to samplibreview.com to check out everything that is going on in the world of virtual instruments. Till next time, have a great day and take it easy.